welcome to you all saints of God glory be to God in the highest thanks be to God Almighty the King of all kings and the Lord of Lords to God be the glory to God be the praise and the honor I give God the praise and the honor and the thanksgiving for giving us the gift of life and the spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus the Bible says that the steadfast love of the Lord that never ceaseth, his mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So we thank the Almighty God for giving us the gift of life and the spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that for there is not therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk after the flesh, but walk after the spirit of God. For the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus has made you and I free from the law of sin and death. And so this morning, uh, we thank the Almighty God for His grace and His message that He has bestowed upon our lives. The Bible also says in the book of Romans, chapter 5, the verse number 8, that for God demonstrated His love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for our sins. And so we thank God Almighty that He's given us life, an abundant life in Christ Jesus. Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 10, the verse number 10, that the thief cometh not after to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. And so we thank God for abundant life that is given us in Christ Jesus. And this morning, I believe that as you and I, uh, have been given life and abundant life. God is giving us the grace uh, to all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. And I pray this morning over your life that may everything that pertains to life and godliness be your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. So the Lord bless you all and I welcome you all uh, this morning for our global morning glory word exhortation encounter. Lord bless you. Stay tuned and enjoy uh, this program in Jesus' name. Good morning to you, uh, Huda, Lady Huda. The Lord bless you. Good morning to you, Huda. I welcome you this morning uh, all the way from Florida, United States. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank God for the gift of life and the spirit of life that he's given us and we are able to connect with each other once again. This morning, I decree and declare, let every captivity in your life be over. Let every captivity in your life be over. That is the word of exhortation uh, entitled uh, message for this morning. Your captivity is over. Your captivity is over and my captivity is over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Let's have a short word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise and all the glory. Thanks be to your holy name for the gift of life and the spirit of life that you have given us, the, the grace uh, that you have bestowed upon our lives and your mercies that you have also demonstrated upon our lives. And I ask that this morning you will speak to us, Holy Spirit, edify us, exhort us, comfort us, motivate us through the power of your word. Let us be lifted higher and higher in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. The message title is Your Captivity is Over. I said your captivity is over. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Let's go into the book of Psalm 126, the verse number 1 to the last verse. Psalm 126, uh, the verse number 1 to the last verse. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Let's hear the word of God. Psalm 126, the verse number 1 to the last verse. Psalm 126. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Your captivity is over. I said your captivity has come to an end. Every captivity of your life, let it come to an end. Every captivity in your destiny, let it come to an end. This morning I speak and prophesy over your life that every captivity that you find yourself in, let that captivity come to an end. 
let that captivity be over. I said, let that captivity be over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. You will not, you will not find yourself in that captivity anymore. I said, you will not find yourself in that captivity anymore. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord take us out all from every captivities in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Katana mashakato varia. Igabadaba shagaba hazus. Mandekata viriata andolobo shakaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the Bible says in the book of Psalm 126 verse 1. Bible says when the Lord turned again, again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Hallelujah. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Kayana Mashakai. That means that Zion had already been in captivity before. Because he said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. What is Zion? Zion is the body of Christ. Zion is the church of the living God. Zion is God's people. Zion is the place of deliverance. Zion is a place of salvation. Zion is a place of freedom. Zion is a place of liberation. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. We were like them that dream. When the Lord turns your captivity around and your captivity is over, it becomes like a dream to you and I. It becomes like a dream come true. Hallelujah. I speak over your life this morning. Let every captivity in your life be over. Let the captivity in your destiny be over this morning. Let every captivity you are encountering. Maybe you are encountering a captivity of depression, a captivity of oppression, a captivity of loss of hope, a captivity of hopelessness. Let that captivity be over. I said, let that captivity is over. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that power now. Receive that anointing now. That captivity is coming to an end. The captivity of financial difficulty is coming to an end. That captivity of sickness and disease and affliction, it is coming to an end. In the name of Jesus, receive grace and greater grace now. Receive grace and greater grace now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So as I go on, the Bible says, it said, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that were dream. I see that that dream, that dream will be your portion. That dream you've been dreaming. That dream of entering into your peace, your joy, your harmony. That dream is manifesting now. It is manifesting now. It is manifesting now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Then the Bible continues and he said, he said, then was our mouth filled with what? With laughter. Then was our, our mouth filled after the captivity is over. Your mouth will be filled with laughter. I decree that as your captivity is coming to an end, may the Lord fill your mouth with Hallelujah. With laughter. Kayana Mashaka. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And he said, and our mouth is filled. Thanks very much, woman of God. Thanks for breaking them down. Hallelujah. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. May your mouth be filled with laughter. May your mouth be filled with testimonies. May the Lord give you testimonies in this day. In this day, this day, Ayanda Bashaka Baria Katoa, may you experience laughter and joy and peace in the name of Jesus because the captivity is over. The captivity is over. I said the captivity in your life and destiny is over. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. So the Bible says, Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. God is not only going to fill your mouth with laughter. Because the captivity is over and the captivity has come to an end. God is also going to fill your tongue with singing. He will put a new song in your mouth and you will sing a new song. 
you will have a new testimony. I decree in the name of Jesus. Let the captivity be over. Let that captivity be over. Thanks very much, woman of God. Then he said, the Lord, the verse number, the verse number three, he said, the three and the four, he said, the Lord have done great things. When the captivity is over, when your captivity is over, and God gives you a dream, and God puts a song in your mouth and in your tongue, the Lord has done great things. I said, the Lord has done great things. For you be, to be taken out of captivity, for you and I to be taken out of the bondage, the captivity, and the torment, and the, and the trials, the adversity, and the difficulties, and the hardships, the calamity, the catastrophe, the catastrophe, God has done great things. And I see God doing great things in your life. I said this day, this week, may the Lord do great things in your life. Great things that you and I know not. Great things that our mind cannot phantom it. Great things that we cannot apprehend and uh, comprehend. Uh, receive the great things of God. Receive the miracles of God. Receive the signs and wonders of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. That captivity is coming to an end. Ah, that pain is coming to an end. That affliction is coming to an end. That sorrow is coming to an end. That depression is coming to an end. That oppression is coming to an end. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. God is turning your captivity around and ending your captivity. And that captivity is coming to an end. In the name of Jesus. Then he said, the Lord have done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Be glad this morning. Be glad in this day. I said, be glad in this day. Receive the oil of gladness. Let the oil of gladness be your portion. I said, let the oil of gladness be your portion because the captivity is over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the captivity be over. Let the captivity in your life be over. Let the struggles be over. Let the difficulties be over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. And he said, turn again, you see. He said, turn again. So God has done it before. He will do it again. He has turned the captivity around. He has ended the captivity. And he will do it again. So look at what he said. The psalmist said, he said, turn again the captivity. Oh Lord, as the streams in the south. Every captivity in your life that looks like streams, that looks like rivers, that looks like valleys in your life. Let those captivity be turned again uh, for your favor. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end. It is over. It is over. It is over. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Let the captivity be over. Let the captivity be over. Let it be over every captivity of rivers in your life. Let it be over every captivities of valleys. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. Kayanama, every mountain captivity that is before you, let it be over. Let it be over. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. David said, Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Let the captivity be over. I said, let the valley experiences be over. Let the difficulties be over in the name of Jesus. And experience the hand of God. And experience the oil of gladness in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then see what he says in the verse number uh, six. He said, he goeth forth with he goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seeds, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves. Hallelujah. I decree and declare, every weeping you are weeping, let it come to an end. Let it be over. Let it be over. Let it be over. Let every weeping you are weeping, let it be over. Weeping of financial difficulty, weeping of affliction, Weeping of setback, 
weeping of stagnation, weeping of retrogression, weeping of limitation, weeping of stagnancy, every form of weeping that you are experiencing, let it be over, let it be over, let it be over by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord lift you out of that, that, that situation and bring you victory, bring you victory in the name of Jesus. So he said, he that goeth forth with and weepeth, bearing precious seeds, whatever you have been through in torment, in pain, kayana mashakaya, and you have felt it, even in those difficulties, you were still with the Lord. You were sacrificing for the Lord. You were giving. You were serving God. In all of that pain, in all of that weeping, the Lord has ended the captivity. And he said, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing. This is your season to rejoice. When the captivity is over, or when the Lord takes the captivity out of our lives, he brings us peace and joy. Let the peace of God be your portion. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Receive the peace of God. Receive the strength of God. Receive the joy of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you uh, with the oil of gladness, with the oil of joy, with the oil of peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Katayana Mahaya. Receive the joy of the Lord now. Thank you very much, woman of God. David said, Yea, though I go through the valley of the shadow of death. Hallelujah. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You see? He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of, of death. It is, a, it is a valley of a shadow of death. It is not the real death. It is the shadow of death. Let every captivity, let every shadow of death come over. Let it end. Let it end. Let it end by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let that shadow of financial difficulty, let that shadow of the death, the death you see in your life, it is a shadow. It is a shadow. No condition is permanent. Everything you are going through, every adversity you are going through is subject to change. Let it come to an end. Let it be over. When the season of that thing comes, it is over. Receive restoration now. Receive divine restoration. Receive restoration now in the name of Jesus. Restoration in your home. Restoration in the lives of your children. Restoration in your marriage. Restoration in your business. Restoration in the works of your hands. Restoration in your health. Experience restoration. And let the captivity be over. Let the captivity be over by the power of the Holy Spirit. God is taking you out of that captivity. I said, God is taking you out of that captivity, that mountain captivity, uh, that valley captivity, that health problem. Uh, let it end. Let it be over. Let it be over by the hand of Jehovah in the name of Jesus. He said, and I will fear no evil. David said, I will fear no evil. You see, every form of difficulty that we go through, no that the Lord will take you through it. And it shall be over. It shall be over. I decree that every problem, every captivity, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. And let the joy of the Lord be revealed in your life. Receive that grace now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that the Lord has turned our captivity. This morning, I decree and declare prophetically that every captivity in your life is over. I said every captivity in your life is over. Receive grace and greater grace now. Receive grace and greater grace now. Receive grace and greater grace now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Psalm 125, the verse number one, Psalm 125, the verse number one. They that trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion. They shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed. Hallelujah. Which cannot be removed. Psalm 125, the verse number one. They that trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion. I decree in your life, the captivity is over. You are Mount Zion. You and I, we are as part of Zion. The Bible says in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. Obadiah 
chapter 1, verse 17. He said, But upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be what? Holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Psalm 125. Thanks very much, a woman of God. The Lord bless you. He said, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. What I like about it is that he said, which cannot be removed. They that trust in the Lord, they shall be as Mount Zion. Mountain which cannot be moved. Mount Zion cannot be moved. Kayada Bashakaya. But he said, but abided forever. So when your trust is in the Lord, nothing can move you. And you will abide forever. You will be there and nothing can move you. Receive the power of, of, of God's goodness upon your life. Receive the power of the grace of God. The Bible says, Obadiah 117, but upon Mount Zion, again, upon Mount Zion, you see, in Psalm 126, he said, the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Zion is you and I. We are connected into Zion. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. And you and I, we are connected in Christ. Nothing can move us. Nothing can shake us. You are unmovable. You are unkillable. You are undiable. You are undestructible. There's nothing that can destroy you. Kayana Mashakaba Atua, a decree over your life that may you possess your possession now. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your blessings. Possess your, your finances. Possess everything that belongs to you. For the captivity is over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive that grace and that power now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you this morning. Let the captivity be over. Every captivity in your life, let it be over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Believe the word of the Lord. That which God has said, it shall manifest. For the captivity is over out of your life. In Jesus' mighty name. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. Saints of God, thank you so much for being part of this global morning glory word of exaltation encounter. I believe you have been blessed. And I know that everything that pertains to your life and godliness that the enemy has purpose in your life for you to go to captivity. That captivity is ended in Jesus' mighty name. And you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Your captivity can be over when you come to the place of acknowledging Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. This morning, maybe you, you, are, you are saying, Oh Lord, I want you to take my captivity away. Let every captivity in my life be taken away. It's one thing that takes our captivity away. It is actually the greatest thing ever that we, that we can encounter for our captivity to come to an end. And that is to acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ, the supremacy and the lordship of Jesus. This morning, I give you this opportunity Maybe you are saying, oh Lord, let my captivity be over. I want to pray with you if you have made that decision to acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ or to rededicate uh, your intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ. Say this prayer after me as we close. Say with me in the name of the Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, I come to you just as I am. Forgive me of all my sins. I acknowledge my wrongdoings. And I acknowledge I cannot help myself. You are the one that rules our captivity away. Let every captivity in my life come to an end. Let it be over. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the master and the savior of my life. Give me this power to overcome every captivity in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. I give God the praise and the glory. For I see that the captivity is over. When the master comes into your life and destiny, every captivity will be over in Jesus' mighty name. That is your portion. That is my portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. 
Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. The Lord bless you. Father, I pray for us all that in this day of our lives, the captivity is over. And you have given us joy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. The Lord bless you. Hulda, the Lord bless you. And I decree over your life that you have entered into your season of joy in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Thank you all for connecting in the name of the Lord Jesus. Stay blessed. Know that there's no more captivity in your life. And you and I, we have entered into our season of joy and celebration in Jesus' mighty name. God richly bless you. Shalom. Peace from God the Father. By the grace of God, I will reconnect with you again this afternoon uh, for our Global Rema Word Encounter. Stay blessed. Know that there's no more captivity in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.